Hello, welcome to our reading for Thursday the 10th of November 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing. So see what feels right for you. It could be one sign and that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. It could be in one of the links below. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of everyone involved. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you, how you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for the wave, crashing into the wave, riding the wave, or ignoring the wave. Also, feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself. And if you have some time, show your love and support to the artists and musicians below and see if there's more signs for you. See if there's more clarity in the lyrics, in the videos that bring um, a personal message to you today. Thank you for joining me. I love you and I'll see you in a moment. Hi, welcome to our reading for Thursday, the 10th of November, 2016. We're beginning today with the Nicoletta Sisoli Oracle Cards. And let's see what God's source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for the highest, greatest good of all for clarity, focus, understanding the energies of the day and how to ride these energies best for all of us. Let's start with one card. Sixteen expedition. I think of adventure. It's uh, it's also 16, so I think of the tower a little bit, but this looks like a happy tower, or like, <laughs> I think she's, she's riding a rabbit with a bell. Um, she's creating some noise as she moves. So it's also a seven, so it's a spiritual journey. Um, I hear quest for some reason some kind of quest um like f i'm getting like fo like instead of following the white rabbit you're riding the pink bunny i'm thinking of a pink car right now for some reason so if somebody out there has an awesome pink car i feel like that's for you i don't know how many people have a pink car though or maybe you're going to see a pink car something like that or something like pink and fuzzy like a steering wheel cover something that reminds you of that um i even see um like like an interesting pastry if that makes sense like the little ice cream pastries something like that i'm not sure um, how helpful that is on the expedition here, but I feel like it's an adventure. It's moving. It's going somewhere. Um, exciting. She's riding it like a bull. She has, look at this, or he, um, you know, you're riding this expedition, this adventure, this chance, this opportunity, this day out, um, getting out of the house. Um, I feel like it's a chance. You know, like something a little bit daring and exciting and spontaneous. Possibly planned if you've been thinking about riding the pink bunny for a while. <laughs> so I'm thinking bull. Maybe there's a Taurus here or like rabbit. Um, uh, Chinese astrology is important. I'm also getting Alice in Wonderland. So maybe like... Uh, Lewis Carroll, um, I'm getting words. Maybe that's important. And I just heard daffodils, but I see, uh, I want to say like, I want to say bluebells, but they look like little blue buttercups. 
um, like my little buttercup or something. Um, but look at how she's riding this bunny. I mean, she's just moving. I don't know about you guys, but if you've ever been to a rodeo, um, it's sort of interesting to watch and, um, or, you know, riding on a horse that's a little bit wild. You sort of have to move with the horse so you don't hurt yourself or fall off or, um, you can't really go against it. You have to move with it. Um, so it's moving with something a little bit wild. Um, I'm getting ener energized too. I know that's battery thinking and advertising. So maybe advertising, Energizer Bunny batteries, um, batteries on full, ready to go. Um, let's get more clarity on Expedition number 16. Um, I'm, I keep hearing that bell that's on the bunny and hearing how fast it would be or the maybe the specific rhythm of the cadence of different animals put in music. I'm not sure where that came from. I hope that was helpful for somebody. Like, I know there's cadence to different dogs, you know, when they're doing their fancy walks in shows that makes a difference, right? So dog shows, maybe, um, I just saw like somebody doing their dog in a fun color like pink. So maybe that's important. Maybe it's not your, huh, maybe it's like your fluffy, you know, your fluffy baby and not your fuzzy steering wheel. Um, or you see somebody that did that or um, grooming animals, something like that. I'm not sure how that's coming in here. Um, so, but I see the bell and I'm hearing the cadence and it makes me think of not only the cadence of like a dog or a uh, horse, possibly a bunny, but maybe other animals. Um, even the difference I'm hearing between a trot and a canter kind of thing, how that's different. It makes me think, think of a heartbeat a little bit. Um, but maybe there's something you can do with beats if you're a DJ or put beats together, tracks, something like that, like tracks, you know, animal tracks, but combine the sound to rhythm. I don't know what I just said. I hope that goes where it needs to go. And let's get another card. Well, let's go to the life purpose oracle cards for the 10th of November, Thursday, 2016 for, what is this number? Six. Expedition. Maybe some of you have a car. I know there is a car that's called the Expedition. Maybe I just uh, hear fluids. Maybe check your fluids. Check your oil. Um, maybe it's not that car specifically, but like maybe a bigger car checking your oil today. Um, paying attention to your transportation, your tires. Um, you know, if a bell's ringing or a light is signaling, perhaps check it out. Don't ignore it. Take care of it. Um, you know, you don't want to not have oil in your engine or something like that. Pay attention to that stuff. Maybe there's a child. I'm getting like teaching a child how to take care of a car. Maybe something like that. Maybe you're hanging out with your kid and showing them how to change the oil or change a tire something like that, something useful, so they can feel like uh, they don't have to rely on help all the time in situations that occur. It occurs, you know, uh, flat tires and such. So uh, maybe it's like, you know, like I feel like you're taking care of transportation or a car, like it's your baby, another baby for some, you know, for others, it's an animal or a child or something. So let's get more clarity on 16 from the Life Purpose Oracle Cards. School. So maybe it's kids, teaching kids, um, or learning about something like you're in school. Um, so that you have useful skills for yourself later. Maybe it's not car. Maybe it is transport, 
transportation, I feel like it's what rings bells for you. Um, what feels fluid to you, something you're into, like when you start to read about, you know, a sign, a symbol, a name. Uh, I'm getting name, like names, like energies of names, perhaps, or um, a birthday, like something specific. And I don't know where birthday came in. Um, school, birthday makes me think of like numerology, maybe something with numerology or maybe astrology even, maybe something different that you can learn about. I feel like it's something you're uh, like on the trail of once you get a nugget of information or wisdom or something it like you want to know more or it brings you somewhere different that makes more interest in a different area. Um, the answer that you're seeking involves going to school. So either teacher or student. Um, something you're getting ready to teach at a school, for a school, your own school, or going somewhere to get more knowledge about something so you can do it later. Um, let me see what I'm getting with this. I get jewelry um, here. There's a beautiful ancient brooch, like, uh, um, you know, ancient jewelry um, with, with done with the torch, like a, a, a bezel. Um, I hear rose cut, something like rose cut. Um, um, let's see. It almost looks like a shield as well, which makes me think of martial arts. So... And I'm looking at her awesome shawl here, which makes me think of embroidery and fabrics and accessories with that badass buckle. You know, like she just grabbed her father's buckle and put it on that beautiful dress with, you know, the sash that her grandmother gave her and she looks awesome. She looks like she put together some kind of look that's her own. So maybe you're doing something with fashion and pulling pieces together that are mismatched, matched. Like the socks that you get that sort of look like one another, but they're not the same. So if you lose one, the other one looks like it. I think I think I'm in pairs of three. Um, uh, something like that. Yeah, something like we're, we're like for kids. That's for kids too, those socks. So like... Um, you know, you can buy gloves and they sell you three. So if you lose one, you know, you have another one, but they all sort of don't look alike and look alike. So maybe something like that with mismatched things or kids losing something um, or teaching kids how not to lose something or working with them somehow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's like eight stars. And this also says 17 plus 18, 16. 17, 18, and this says 27 and 19, if that's important for anyone. Um, I don't really feel like doing the math right now, so um, let's continue from the school and go to, um, I'm going to go to the Angel Tarot. The power, what you doing? You going on a trip? Then he didn't want to be in the video. He decided that he wanted to be independent, but now he's deciding to take an expedition of his own. Huh? To the bottom of the cage. We're going to see what's going to happen and pull a card from the Power Archangel Tarot. More clarity on Expedition 16 and School. The answers that you're seeking involve going to school. So... Uh, meeting maybe there's like I don't know maybe I don't know what timing parent teacher conference conferences or getting ready for something like that or like a presentation um, I see like a big board like you saw in elementary school with like stuff on it maybe fabrics and textures art I I'm not sure what I'm seeing let's get another card it makes me feel like I'm in elementary school, like being creative in arts and crafts and seeing all the different uh, like 
every student has their own version of the same lesson and how awesome it is to see that interpretation, something like that. Um, but I'm seeing it kind of like a collage, almost like it's all together. Um, it's like a collage of everybody, not really separate, but separate still, if that made any sense. Let's get another card. And that's Leap of Faith. So that's that zero, like that zero point. Like, 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 I feel like it's like, now I'm back to, I see school, so now I'm on the playground, just so you know, and I don't think they have seesaws on any playgrounds that I know, but a seesaw, but being in the middle so that you can feel the changes um, going on and how something is, but you're not thrown off. Um, and then I see somebody moving to the edge and having something of equal weight coming at them in order to throw them off. But that that is what you want to do. That was very um, physical for some reason. But this is just a gentle walk. It's leap of faith. It's the fool. It's beginner's luck. It's trying something brand spanking new for you or somebody around you. It's taking a journey. It's also this, going somewhere different, doing something different, doing something that you're called to do. I like that there's the lassie dog here. It's like companionship, loyalty in the situation. I feel like that's protection and um, like the Holy Spirit just pointing your own way of transformation with the butterflies. Like, um, you're just, I feel like you're discovering something. Look at how long it's been since somebody has been here. There's so much moss. It's like the jungle, but it was, it was there at one point where it was useful. There was a lot of work put in here. It makes me think of like, I don't know. I just thought of the Bosnian pyramids for some reason. So Bosnian pyramids or like, um, pyramids in China, like something underneath, um, a canopy of green, like the canopy of the forest, the jungle. But I feel like you're discovering something that was ancient, something that was there. Maybe, uh, it makes me think of like past lives or, uh, uh, your roots, something like that. Like some place that you go and you've never been there before, but you have deja vu about, or you feel like you've been there or had a dream about, or just feel connected to, or there's weird things that you're connected to specifically with a location I'm getting that you go, maybe you're just going. I feel like I've literally done this before where I just needed to have a little adventure and had no purpose other than for God to bring me somewhere meaningful for me. Anywhere you want, let's go, kind of thing. And I just took a detour one morning and I ended up somewhere. If I could, if I could, if I could only tell all the stories, but we're going to get to the reading, but beyond personal, meaningful connections, names, numbers, places, feelings, um, everything all at once for like, I felt like it was all there for me. It was amazing. And I didn't even know where I was going. And I just went a different way, you know, kind of was praying and asking for a little adventure. Just let's go somewhere cool. Show me a sign. And then if I saw something, let's go this way. And I kind of, I kind of got lost, but I sort of knew the area I was in and how to get out and decided to take a right turn and Lo and behold, there was this place that was important to me. So maybe it's something like that. You don't even know where you're going. You're just feeling that pull or needing that adventure and having that journey, that experience along the way, and then having it be oh so meaningful more when you actually arrive. Like it all comes together. It's all very personal. Maybe you just need to ask for a little adventure. Sometimes it just takes, takes the 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 desire and the prayer to ask and see what happens. 
Sometimes it's something little. Sometimes it's later, you know? Um, sometimes it's right now at that zero point. Something, you know, leaps you forward, um, helps you with a boost. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. You know, for me, that was fun. You know, that was my little, like, I don't know, scavenger hunt or something that turned out to be one of my favorite experiences in this life, in my life. Um, you know, really gave me some extra boost in faith that day. So it takes a little faith to sometimes maybe have it received back. You know, give a little boost and get a little boost. I'm getting a little, like, you know, some positive, loving karma. Just, you know, believe. Take a leap of faith. See. You know, trust that you'll be somewhere you need to be today. But it takes doing. It takes leaping. It takes believing. It takes having f faith in something you don't understand completely. I feel like with the zero, you walk around in this perfect little center point, protected, a little bit innocent, a little naive, sometimes new at something, maybe going back to school, you know, or thinking you're teaching or, you know, learning something, but, or maybe it's a leap of faith that gives you that spark that tells you where to go later to do the learning. You know, maybe it takes the expedition to figure out the solution or the direction. So let's go do the steampunk tarot and get a card for zero leap of faith. So I feel like when you walk along, you can't really see too far ahead or too far behind. You're sort of still in that bubble, but it's protecting you and shining a light on you and lighting your way right around you to show you what's next. But just look at where you are now, you know, the step that you're on now. Pay attention to that step, not meeting the outcome or having expectations on the outcome. Pay attention and be in the moment of that step without the outcome and see how it uh, here magnifies something. But it starts with that connection in you as you walk around. You know, you're that little zero point. Um, your beautiful soul. Um, so let's get a card for the Leap of Faith, School, the Zero, the Sixteen, for Thursday. And that's the moon. It's also, it makes me look at this hero. So, not only taking this Leap of Faith with where you can see right around you, but trusting that inner guidance inside you, you can't understand. This is mystery, uh, psychic, um, you know, impressions like uh, tapping into the unknown, all those feelings, all the clairs, you know. Um, um, also mystery, um, secrets. Um, things under the surface you can't see. Um, uh, sometimes it's like romance or like hidden romance. If you want to do, go that way. And it's number 18. So, you know, it's what ha happens under the sheets. It's not always exposed. So, um, it's what happens when the curtain's drawn, when the night is dark, when... Uh, you're in the forest and you can't see everything and you have to rely on those senses to feel around and know what's going on. So it's helping you see in the dark here, helping you tap into those, um, you know, natural psychic senses in you. It comes through differently for all of us. You know, we all have a different energetic frequency, makeup, vibration, like little antennas. Um, you know, more like, I feel like it's like sound and color and everything at once, but you know, all totally tuned differently. So we receive and send out information differently. We're all special. So it's about you paying attention to your own entombment and alignment and trust here. You know, it's also things coming to the surface that were hidden before, that were um, maybe secrets you had, somebody else 
had, something that somebody kept hidden, tucked away in the dark, you know, tucked underneath the bed, the mess underneath the bed kind of thing. Um, I like this card. Besides the crab, so I think of both Scorpio, I think of Scorpio and Cancer, but there's a lot of water, so also Pisces. Um, and there's the two towers here. They look pretty equal, but like they're at a different position in spinning. What's not the same as other cards um, or other decks that have the moon is here. There's a cat and a dog usually, or sometimes it's like a wolf and then a puppy dog or I like that, or, yeah, I've, seen, uh, I've seen a couple, I like that this is a cat and a dog, so it's like, I feel like the cat is like the unknown, the spiritual side of things, uh, the feline energy, I feel like it's vibration, the purring is, I feel like it's like rhythm or like a natural healing vibration, um, I feel like it's like a cleansing vibration, I know that sounds weird, but I think that's what purring is, um, like it cleanses energy, uh, something like that, um, and then there's the dog that's like the physical protector to us, you know, and here you have the dog as well. You know, they're there to hear what's in the dark that you can't hear yet because it's too far away. And they're alert to alert you so you know there's something there, but it takes you being in tune with the dog to understand what it's doing. And it takes you understanding when the cat's staring at the wall or something like that or purring away or like rubbing its, um, you know, like a cat rubbing against your legs might be like clearing away some static, wasty energy that's stuck on you. You don't know. So it's that entombment to those different energies to find that center way through to find that balance in you. Um, so maybe it's connection to animals too today. Uh, and there's something shining a light on the moon. There's actual like spotlights again on the moon. Spotlight, light, shining a light on something today. I feel like it's shining a light on this leap of faith. Maybe it's something you wanted to do for a while with someone else around you and just didn't, and now you need to. It's shining a light on something mysterious, um, unknown, romantic. Um, it's number 18. Let's go to the fairy tarot and get another card for 18. Uh, the Moon, Leap of Faith, Archangel Metatron, School, 16 Expedition. And that's the Queen of Winter. So, it's like the Queen of Swords. Um, just cuts to the chase, straight to the point, possibly an air sign, so... Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but just a, a, a feminine like energy, like a mama, even if it's a male energy. Somebody that's um, maybe distant a little bit because they've been through things in the past and they understand what it's like and they don't want to get involved anymore. They'd rather just cut out the bullshit, cut to the chase and deal with that situation and ride away on their own than be lost in the commotion, gossip, chaos, um, problems when they can figure out a solution. She's really smart, like really witty, uh, like can make light of a situation that seems like it's down, like just kind of brushes it off. Um, she protects children. He protects children. Um, you're sledding through something. You found a way to slip through the snow. Strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny. Um, for some reason, I know this is like air signs, but it makes me think of maybe signs that have their birthday in winter too. Like maybe like Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, even Pisces. Um, you know, when it, there's snow out, maybe when there's snow out, there's an answer when the, the, the seasons change. This is let go of people or things that are no longer, uh, that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career unmarried or divorced individuals, like independent. Um, I'm getting like a um, single mom or single dad, but 
like, someone really good with doing their own shit, you know, like, working and getting it done and, like, rushing to see their kids, like, rushing to, I see, like, at something at school, like a, um, choir or chorus or a band concert or a football game or something like that, and you are, like, the dad or the mom that, like, helps with the float. I just saw, like, a float, like, uh, you know, like, high school football games, college, something like that, or, you know, like, that kind of, like, helpful, just gets the job done, maybe, like, maybe, like, doesn't get emotionally involved when something doesn't work, maybe puts people to work kind of thing, you know, you do this, you do this, this is your job, this is your job, and at the end, you have something beautiful, but you learn something along the way, it's also, I think, that hard teacher that maybe was a little bit of a hard ass, but you really kind of liked because you learned the most from, um, I also see you, like, knowing how to handle this cold situation. Uh, I hear sexy. Like, I'm not sure why. She she do, she do does sort of have that sexy come-hither look on her face. So maybe you're getting on this sled and, you know, having an expedition a different way out of something cold before. Something dark before. And now there's clarity. You know, this is revealing something slowly. So... Have patience and be clear. Be logical about this situation. I feel like don't be so attached. Be a little detached here. There's a lot of like loner things going on. Like detachment and doing your own thing. Your own path. Your own feelings. Your own journey. Your own revelations. Where is the... Hold on. I have one more. One more, and we will sum up this reading. This is the Winged Enchantment Oracle Cards, and I have the book, yes. So let's end with this. And we have the Pelican, number 27. So that brings us to a nine, which is completion. Um, something drifting in the water. I see writing with a feather and, like, pebbles. Um, something like smoothed away by water over time or filtered through. Something cleansed. Uh, 27 Pelican is, I, I am Pelican, the bridge of the head and the heart. I am careful observation. I am planning with room for negotiation. I am the skills you need to, te to reach the goal at hand. I am unfettered determination. I am the use of team dynamics. Your outlook is too heavy. Your viewpoint too restricted. What you require is a greater adaptability. I am the release of expectation. I am the effortless flow of one thing to another. I am the your need to let go or to let things unfold and take the best catch. You may have stepped in your own way. You may well be tripping over your own feet, so stay focused, but do not lose sight of the bigger picture. You will always find what you need. I feel like that's this. That's definitely this. It's like right in front of you as you go, you know, as you move. It's like everything's in the little satchel of the, um, the fool, but he hasn't really pulled it out of the bag to use it yet or had the experience to use it yet. So trust when that situation comes, you can pull it out of your bag and figure out how to use it. Um, you are positive and productive. You are effortless acquis acquisition. You are abundant in resources. You are Pelican. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful for the day. I love you so much, and I